night. Hello, YouTube. This is Drew. Um, this is a very special first for the Drucifer Triple X channel. Uh, at the prices these kinds of things go for, it might also be a very special last. But it's a very special Drucifer Triple X first. This is Toy World H02 Brainwave, my first third party toy purchase. Now, I did. A few years back, win this from Kapow Toys, but that didn't count because I didn't buy it. This is my first third-party toy purchase for a third-party Transformers action figure purchase. Now, if everybody knows, that guy is supposed to be Brainstorm. And here's a version of Brainstorm. This is G1. Brainstorm for you. I'm going to do a little adjustment. Uh, I've got him set up like the Comet with his briefcase and his big Schumer guns, but and this head is a um, custom from eBay. Somebody hand cast that and uh, hand painted that, and I think that's kind of cool to have. Um, so we're gonna open this guy right on up and get on into Brainwave proper. Well, you have the Brainstorm body proper, which does have landing gear, which is kind of cool. We're going to talk about that. Now, it's really funny how this works. I've taken some photos of it. I've taken some, I'm taking video now and looking at it, and I'm realizing that the color the plastic is in hand is not how it looks like on any photo. Anyway, he looks more like the way I would suspect and want him to look on the camera. He's a little more green in hand, and I apologize for the fingernails. I came straight home from a dirty day of working on cars, washed my hands off quickly, because I wanted to get this done today, because it's just something I've never done before. Anyway, there's the headmaster. He's a teeny tiny little guy. Here he is next to a legend figure. Really like a teeny little guy. Of course, we expect that because, well, headmaster. Um... You can put the guns on just like the G1. My G1 I'm not going to transform because the legs are all crickety crackety and I don't want to break it and one day I'm going to get me a better one. But we will show them together in robot mode. But we're not going to do this vehicle mode showing off thing because, yeah, I'm not risking legs breaking for that. So that's... That's jet mode. Jet mode looks pretty nice. It does have an opening cockpit. Uh, and you do kind of have to pull the little feet up here, like so. Then yeah, there's some nice air brakes on it to get the cockpit open, at which point you sit your headmaster down and you just drop him in there which can be harder said than done but there it goes he slots in you close the pegs you lay the feet down and then you're ready to go flying so what you do you fold in the uh, things and then flight mode is flight mode is an X wing like so it's a lot like Star Wars X-Wing. It's also a lot like Brainstorm is in the comic right now with his X-Wing jet mode. Um, post a picture here. And that is basically jet mode. You've got some nice thrusters, got some nice posable wings. You can kind of put them how you want to. Um, not any really much robot junk. You can kind of tell that this is a this is a body a little bit, but this is definitely not a guy under a plane, uh, which is working for me pretty good. So, transformation. Real simple, which is good because I was kind of expecting as a third party toy, expecting it. It's simple, but not in a bad, simple way. It's simple and intuitive. And Once you've got him in robot mode, 
You can adjust the legs and the ankle tilts and the arms and the waist until you got him standing like you want. He does have ratchets in the in the uh, waist. And he is kind of hard to stand because he's back heavy, but he's got enough stuff articulated in the feet that you can do whatever you want. Um, oh, I was like, where's the head? Oh, the head's still in his back. Falls out. Head's really simple. From the sit-down mode, you just simply switch his legs around. And it plugs in. Just like the traditional headmaster. In fact, that's one of the things I brought OG Brainstorm in here for. Two things, actually. You can take this head out, and you can put an original Brainstorm head on him. Let's raise the camera up a little bit so you can see that. Just a little. So he can take the traditional brainstorm head. It's a little wobbly. Not bad. Also, with the right amount of pressure, you can place the brainwave head on the G1. Now, it doesn't click in nearly as well as it does the other way. It takes a little bit of doing to get it to stay and I'm not gonna get it to stay but that does look pretty cool on there and this head some people have kinda complained about this head said that you know it's a little bit goofy looking and it is a little bit flat but I am posting a picture of some Alex Milne artwork right here and show you that it looks a lot like the current comic book offering. So there's that. Now, I have another brainstorm coming from my buddy Larry, Mr. Plastic Robot. Uh, awesome dude. He's done me some paint work on it. And I will be reviewing that as well here very shortly. Right now, I just kind of wanted to show you this guy a little. And you can, you know, he's got all the posability that you could want in a modern Transformer. He's got the ankle tilts. He's got the uh, toe that you can adjust. And pretty much, you get rid of the back heavy by leaning him forward and pushing his toes down. Uh, plus, these are arrangeable how you want. You can, you can have them up if you want for a more... For some kind of an odd attack fight mode thing. Or they can lay down on the back like wings. Like up here by his shoulders as wings. If you want to, they will fold all the way down and back around so that you can almost hide them. Have them be more of a little backpack. Uh, they hang kind of down like a cape there. Uh, other things... He's got some little thrusters for here. These are for robot flight mode, just to help him fly around, which is pretty cool. All right, so we start that little awesome. sequence over because my camera phone doesn't have enough memory. There he is with the G1. Here he is with Generations Classics 3.0 Universe Holiday Springer, not Holiday. <laughs> anniversary here he is with MP side swipe which I think is the best fit him and swipes look pretty good together so I think him and my Datsuns are gonna be all shelved up on the same kind of shelves looking good together is what's gonna happen uh, and yes I said Datsuns turns out I'm gonna be getting more than just blue streak uh, more on that later but there is toy world Brainwave, robot mode, vehicle mode, brainstorm. One more thing before we go, I have to show off one more little thing. There's something that I'm going to have to buy a couple more briefcases here. 
Brainstorm to me these days because of what he's become in the comics, because of how wonderful I think the James Roberts version of the character is. The more than meets the eye version. I have to give Brainstorm the briefcase. Because it's just not, it's just not Brainstorm if he doesn't have it. And I am looking for a brown one. I actually think this scale's pretty good. Uh, maybe I should just paint this one. Because the briefcase in the comic is tan. Anyway, that is um, Brainstorm. Brainwave from Toy World. Uh, one more parting shot of G1 uh, versus Toy World. Yeah, um, you know, have to say one more. have to say this about the price. Uh, he's a little bit expensive. Uh, don't do this unless it's a favorite character. Uh, if I wasn't so obsessed with Brainstorm right now, I might be upset that I spent as much as I did. But it is a gorgeous toy. Uh, it's a lovely representation of the character, as you can see from looking at them together. Uh, you know, the detailing in the legs matches up with the detailing in the stickers. Right even down to there being some blue here. It, it is a G1 style toy. Oh, I forgot this piece. You can open that up, kind of to emulate the idea of this. Which is cool too. But I think that about covers it. It's good to be back talking to you guys again. It's been a little while since I've shot a video. Um, and that's Toy World Brain Wave. A.K.A. Brainstorm. And I will see you guys later.